Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. I am so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me for this little travel vlog to Orlando, Florida. I am on voiceover right now because while I do check in with you occasionally on video, I wanna make sure I'm giving you a full overview of this trip. So as you just saw, we arrived at the Orlando airport, took a little shuttle to another area of the airport where we found a Starbucks and got some refreshers to hydrate and then went to retrieve our rental vehicle for the trip. The temperature was amazing like it was such a shock to my system in the best way but we then headed to our first hotel we are going to be staying at three different hotels which sounds like a lot but it's what made sense for us since we arrived later in the day this day so this is just going to kind of be our sleeping quarters and then tomorrow we will go to a new resort which is going to provide us with some passes to the park shortly after dropping our bags off at the room we went to dinner at joe's crab shack and then found a super target to pick up some essentials For our first full day in Orlando, we kicked off the day with our breakfast that was included with our first hotel stay. And then we moved to our next resort, which was the Hard Rock Hotel. And by staying here, the whole family was able to get passes for the Universal Parks, the Universal Studios Park, the Island of Adventure, all of that. And plus the hotel was within walking distance of the park, which was really, really convenient. So for our first full day in Orlando, we also had our very first park day. So we went to Universal Studios and pretty much booked it right for Harry Potter land because that tends to get the busiest and fill up the fastest and we wanted to ride a certain ride within that area. It was quite the walk. We passed quite a few other little lands and areas on the way there, including the Men in Black ride, which we just went ahead and hopped on right away as well. Super fun. I love little like shooting games like this. They just bring out my inner child, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, Hunter was very good at that game. He unlocked like every single bonus there was to unlock. But we finally made it to Harry Potter land. We went through the little entryway, through the random little hole in the wall and made it to the little town area. Look, I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. I do not know anything about Harry Potter. I actually read the first two and a half maybe books and I saw the first two movies and then I just gave up, so. And now my memory is, is faded on what, what things are anymore, but I still really enjoyed it. I really like the architecture in this area and just the attention to detail and all the cool little whimsical details. But we went on the escape from Gringotts right away. That one was a coaster simulator combo. We got some butterbeer. We watched the dragon spit fire. We went in this little wand shop and they had kind of a little interactive thing going on. Honestly, go into the shops, even if you don't think they will be cool. There are so many little hidden secrets and things in the Harry Potter land. It kind of blew my mind. Went on the Simpsons ride, which kind of made me a little motion sick. I won't lie to you. The horror makeup show, which was mostly just kind of a comedian situation with a little bit of fun facts. The stunt show was really, really cool and impressive. Did some shopping, stopped for lunch at this place. I got a grilled chicken sandwich, which was average, but of course overpriced, you know, your typical park food. We tried to do a decent mix of rides and shows so that it wasn't just kind of too much all at once. And one of them was this little animal show, which I thought was super cute. There were so many cute animals and yeah, I mean, just take a look. fed some ducks and then went on the transformers ride which was definitely like a simulator situation got another starbucks refresher because we are obsessed with them and went on the mummy as well as this roller coaster the hollywood rip rocket i believe it's called that one messed me up i was not okay and the coaster actually took video as well as a photo so there was this whole like 30 second video of hunter and i just like dying <laughs> so yeah if that doesn't show you how aggressive that coaster was i don't know what will that particular coaster actually messed my dad up really bad like way worse than anyone else so we ended up just staying in for the rest of the night and actually had mcdonald's for dinner which is unusual for us We are all ready to go for day two at the park. Let's go.
This day for our second park day, we went to the Islands of Adventure, I believe is what the park name was. Our plan was to just grind out the Universal Studios Park in one day, which we successfully did. So we started with the Cat in the Hat ride and yeah, it was an experience. It was fun. Hunter really liked it. He had a good time. But yes, since we got there a little bit later, we didn't really care what rides we went on first. So we kind of just worked our way through the park nice and slowly. We ended up getting these little refillable drink cups, which were a good investment because it was so hot that day. And honestly, I think we were all dehydrated. So finally made our way to the Harry Potter land, which is just so beautiful. Honestly, I love the architecture so much. It just feels like you're in a story and i just love it so much like the castle is breathtaking to look at we went on this which i don't remember what it's called and the little simulator one inside the castle ate another park lunch in the jurassic park segment of the park which was actually our last park meal met the raptor i think blue was it blue i think it was blue we went on thunder falls checked out the little discovery center went to toon lagoon and did the little water raft ride hunter and i were shooting at our parents and my brother as they went because they went a second time and we did not but then we went to dinner at maggiano's which was lovely i love the ambiance i love the food so good looks good good morning I'm feeling so tired today, but it is day three, around 7.30 a.m., and we're getting ready to hit the park. We did end up going to the Islands of Adventure once again, booked it to the Harry Potter land to go on the Hagrid ride. The wine for this was nuts, even though we had early park access, but honestly, I would say it was worth it. It was such a nice coaster. It wasn't too aggressive either. It was just that perfect happy medium for me that I really like. We went on the Velocicoaster, which is definitely a must do if you love roller coasters this was probably the best one i've ever ever been on so so cool we cut through the jurassic park area to get to the kong ride which was a 3d kind of simulator experience went on the rips off falls log ride which is always fun cut through the marvel area and the cartoon comic area and went on the spider-man ride which was another simulator i would compare it to the transformers ride that we went on the day before. Update time. We left the park around lunchtime, went and got lunch, and then hung out by the pool and napped for like an hour. And now we're headed out to dinner. That is all. We ended up venturing to the City Walk, which is a part of Universal Studios, and went to Bubba Gump Shrimp because it is Hunter's favorite. We went to it in Mexico and we loved it. Although we got tacos in Mexico and they did not have tacos on their menu at this location, which was very sad, but still good. We walked around a little bit, just kind of explored the place. There were a lot of cute restaurants and little party places. We did find a Cold Stone and Cold Stone is so hard to resist. So we went ahead and got some. My favorite is the Chocolate Devotion, but I'm a crackhead for chocolate. So what might be too rich for some people is my thing. I have like had my hair in a messy blonde for every single clip I've taken. That's just the lifestyle at the moment. We just got back from dinner. It was pretty good. The ice cream was definitely the highlight for me personally. But yeah, tomorrow is our last day at the park. I think we're gonna be getting up early and spending like another half day there. And then from there, I think we're just going to do whatever we feel like. For now though, it's bedtime. So I'm gonna start getting ready for bed and I'll see you in the morning. I can barely open my eyes right now to be honest. Last day at the park, and then hopefully we'll sleep in our last few mornings. <laughs> As you just saw, we really tried to hustle this morning to the Hagrid ride because we thought maybe we could get there earlier this morning and maybe have less of a wait, but not really. We kind of, you know, ended up waiting the same amount of time. We went on all the rides that we kind of wanted to do again and then ended the day kind of halfway through around lunchtime and got some Zaxby's for lunch, which is okay. It's no Chick-fil-A, okay? I'm a Chick-fil-A girl. We went to our next resort, which was more of a condo situation. Here, I'm just giving you a little tour of the place. It was really cute and beachy vibes, but this one does not give us any park access or park passes included in our stay. So we are now at this point in our trip done with the park. So to fill the time for the rest of the day, we went to Disney Springs. We just did a section of it. I took a video of this because I thought this was so cool, but the store had t-shirts in a bunch of different colors. They were all the same style shirt, but they were all in just different colors so basic but i just i love that for some reason i don't know 
Hunter tried on this cute little bucket hat. He did not get it, sadly. I know how good it looks on him, but we looked at a bunch of cute little stores. This was the Kate Spade store. They had a lot of interesting bags, to say the least. Super cute area though, lots of nice stores. This Coke store was cool. They had a nice view up top, kind of on the rooftop area. We enjoyed a few sweet treats while we were there. We got these cookies, which were honestly not good. I'm so sorry, but they were not good. These donuts though, really good. Highly recommend, highly, highly recommend. Went to the M&M store. They had some cute merch. And by the time we were done shopping, it was getting kind of dark out and the whole area was lit up and it was just gorgeous. I loved the lights on the palm trees, adorable. The next day we totally slept in. So I didn't start vlogging until lunchtime and we went to Freddy's, got a burger and then headed to Topgolf, which we've never been, but it was really cool. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a different experience. I've only been to typical driving ranges, not multi-level, not with the little like target game aspect to it. The view was beautiful. It was a great experience. I got to have a drink. We returned to Disney Springs. I don't know if it was downtown Disney at this point. They're like combined now, but we did the other section that we didn't do the day before and just kind of explored, did some shopping. We found the Ghirardelli shop. We had to get something, okay? And we did get ice cream before dinner, which is a little crazy, but it was really good. And I feel like vacation is an exception. We went to Giordano's for dinner after because we were all craving a deep dish pizza like this and finished off the night with the most beautiful sunset. I loved this. It is our last full day in Orlando tomorrow. We haven't made up our minds on what exactly we wanna do yet, but for the rest of the night tonight, we're just chilling because there is a thunderstorm warning. So we're just staying in and watching the NBA playoffs. The Lakers play the Nuggets tonight. So we just figured why not play it safe. And yeah, that is my update for tonight. For our very last day in Orlando, we took a drive. We were planning to go to the Tiger Woods mini golf course, but we literally got there and were very disappointed given the price point that they're charging you to golf there so we instead went and got more ice cream and went to the fantasia gardens mini golf course instead which was a blast every green on the course was covered with little geckos and lizards which i honestly loved they're such funny little creatures and i'm not used to seeing them around so it was really fun i ended up placing a third out of fifth in the family which is not bad it's not bad right we ended up eating at Bahama Breeze for dinner. They had a performer, which was so cool. Phone did not eat first tonight, but this was really good. I really enjoyed it. Good morning, everybody. It is the big day. It is the day we finally go home. Here I am just getting ready for the airport, bare minimum, you know, putting the hair down. I slept in the outfit I wore to the airport it was just not that serious for me this morning. I fully had my heart set on a Starbucks coffee this morning, but the line was ridiculously long. Like the chokehold that Starbucks has on people is insane. But I ended up just having a Cliff Bar, so I had a little something in my tummy and some vitamin water and just enjoyed the flight home. So with that, that is going to conclude this travel vlog. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and joining me. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share. I hope you have an amazing, amazing week, and I will see you very soon.